With an FCTV with Chris Agata following today's defeat to Mason in the National League South. Aggie, your assessment on that one? Uh, you don't have to work very hard to beat us, unfortunately. Um, what's that? It's 20 goals in total in 11 games uh, conceded. So you average sort of three odd goals per game to win all of those. So yeah, it's uh, very frustrating. All, uh, all Maystone needed to do was chip it forwards, put it on top of our back line and um, maybe let it bounce, went in behind them. I mean, that Aaron Blair must have thought it was Christmas at times. Right. Um, and if we do manage to do anything with the firsts, we don't um, do not do enough with the seconds. And that's a collective effort as well. Like, um, I blame the back line for dealing with the first ball or their inability to deal with it consistently. Um, in terms of the second ball, it's a collective effort. It's not just down to the midfield players, it's down to um, the forward players, recovery running and bits and pieces like that. Um, yeah, and, and when you can see that volume of of, uh, of goals, it, it makes life very difficult. And um, as I said, they haven't had to work hard at all. Um, to win the game today, um, but the only difference is we, unlike last year, where there was a one or two faces that could dig you out of a hole, and we haven't got them. So, you know, we need to shut up shop, and um, you know, if we're to do anything this year, we have to we have to be better defensively. It's just, it's just, um, you know, you, you don't win anything when you can see that volume of goals, especially with that little resistance as well. Like it's just not easy to play against. Um, I mean, the first goal, I have no idea what Hague is doing. Um, and then the second goal, as I said, we nearly gone 1 1. They've gone up the other end, been direct, ball's bounced, why it's bounced, it shouldn't bounce. There's three people around it, hit the ball. Um, they pick up pieces and then there's Sam Corn who's won his race to the back post. Um, one pop run past them, um, sorry, run past a number of Worthing shirts to win the race to the back post and get the winner. The, when you had the ball today as well, it felt like made someone set up really well to defend you. It felt like at times it was really struggling to find a way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think we need to move the ball quicker, move it side to side, um, more runs in behind, um, more forward passes. Um, my, my issue is, is like, we we always create chances and we've created chances again today. They're not as clean cut as what they have been, but we've missed one on ones. We've, the goalkeeper's made a great save. Um, you know, we've had a bit of. Bit of ball around their 18 yard box in terms of bits and pieces and loose ball. So, my, my issues defensively, like it's just not sustainable. It, it's not sustainable. So, we we can't draw a game nil nil. Um, we can't grind out a one nil win just because we just are. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're not performing as well as I think we should be in defensive areas. The, the, you've mentioned it already, but the moment where Mo Farr goes in, loves loves the keeper and it bounces up against the crossbar, uh, and then a sucker punch really, they straight up the other end and, and double their lead. How sort of disheartening was that moment for, for the squad? Um, <clears throat> yeah, frustrating, no doubt. Um, but we're not kidding ourselves. Like we're we're not sitting here thinking we're unlucky to lose it. Like if we've got the equaliser, we wouldn't be sitting there going, "Oh yeah, no, we've cracked it." No, we just, yeah, no, it wasn't, I, don't, I didn't feel like it was a sucker punch. I didn't sit there and sort of go, oh yeah, I didn't see that coming. Um, because, as I said, the opposition don't have to do much to to um, cause us problems, to be honest. Like I said, Maystone were direct, um, put the ball on top of our back line, and we didn't do it, either the first or second ball. So that's all you need to... All we need to do to beat Worthing, unless we can find another four goals from somewhere, and you're not going to do that every week. It's impossible. And looking ahead now, Welling at home here on Tuesday, a chance to bounce back. Yep, 
Yeah, it's uh, you know we we've got a couple of couple of games in games in hand over a couple of teams. Um, yeah, I, to be honest, I'm not looking too far beyond um, Welling. Uh, we just we just have to iron out our defensive issues now. Whether that is changing shape, whether that is changing personnel, um, it's difficult because what you don't want to do is nullify what you are good at. So we're good going forwards. We create a lot of chances. We score a lot of goals, um, and I think that's been proven over the ten, eleven games. Um, so what we don't want to do is because there's a few back there that can't do the basics, like head the ball. <laughs> and get the cover on. Right. When someone shapes up to launch it forwards, it's probably going there, so you need to drop off. Do you know what I mean? Like you need to drop off, you need to work your feet, you need to like in worst case it drops in front of you, it can't go in behind you. What we don't want to do is is change the way that we're set up because those lads can't defend. And that's the reality of it. We can't sort of nullify our strengths because of our weaknesses are so glaring, do you know what I mean? Because otherwise we won't do anything. We'll get caught half and half and we'll just be a really bang average team that wins a couple, loses a couple, draws a couple. And we've seen enough in in the first 10, 11 games that, you know, when we're good, we're very good. But like I said, it was just too easy to play against us today. Um, so yeah, in terms of changing setup, maybe, I lean more towards changing personnel and what we do have is we've got a very good squad um, with a lot of quality and we're pretty sure the solution's in there. We just need to just need to get it out on the pitch. And there were yeah, there's a couple of positives there. I thought Jack Bass was very good. I thought Jack Wadden was good when he came on. Um, he seems a bit rusty, but I thought he was good. Um, yeah, some good moments, but um, it's a word again, moments, and, and uh, moments don't win you anything.